welcome to your love reading for October 4th, 2020. My name is Gina, and um, so today we're going to be doing love messages, spiritual messages, career messages, and general messages. So this is very new. Um, I started doing this for my other channel, Cancer Baby Tarot, and people really enjoyed it, so I hope you guys do too. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have, can I have a, a Cancer-only channel, Virgo-only channel, Aries-only channel channel and Pisces only channel. The links for those are down below along with the link to my TikTok channel. Recommended readers are down below. I do do uh, monthly giveaways so you can find that information in the description box below also. So be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? So guys, I am going to be doing um, timestamps as I go because it makes my life a little bit easier. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, let's see here. I had a pen. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with Cancer, okay? So, so we're going to be doing Cancer at 120. All right, my love. So let's go ahead and see what we have here for Cancer, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages, career messages, spiritual messages today for Cancer, please. October 4th, please. Messages for Cancer, please. October 4th. So we have the Magician and we've got the King of Cups. So Cancer, in love, um, you may be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Cancer... <coughs> I feel like either you and your partner or just you or just your partner, someone here is truly trying to manifest in this connection. Um, you could be manifesting anything, whether it's love, passion, um, you know, more money, maybe trying to build a life for, for yourselves here, but you're definitely trying to manifest. Now, for those of you who are single, you may be trying to manifest someone who is loyal, someone who is kind. Um, and I do feel like that person is going to be coming towards you. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and pull two cards for career. Okay, we've got the nine of wands here and we have the sun card. Um, some of you may be working with a Leo possibly, um, but I feel here that with the sun card and the nine of wands in career and finance, Cancer, I feel like no matter hard, how hard things get, no matter how tired you guys are, um, it's important to remain, to to have a positive attitude. I just lost my speech there for a second. Um, to remain positive, to have a positive attitude. So no matter how tired you get, no matter how bad things might be looking, keep that positive attitude because, you know, after a storm, sun always comes out. After, you know, the dark, the dawn always comes. So keep that positive attitude because the sun card here in career is good fortune, wealth, good news coming. Um, you know, it's going to recuperate. So whatever has been lost is going to come back. If business has been down, it's going to come back. If you've been out of a job, it's going to come back. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull two cards here for spiritual messages for cancer. Okay. So we have the five of wands. And we have the Seven of Cups. So Cancer, right now, spiritually, I feel that your energy is completely confused and chaotic. Um, definitely a need to ground here. Um, you may be hearing things about your religion or finding out facts that are making you a little confused about where you want to be spiritually. Um, you know, maybe, you know, some of you are a Christian, but you're leaning towards more spiritual or nature or, you know, it could be anything here. Um, or it could just be a simple fact of, you know, in your religion or spirituality, you know that, you know, you want to do certain things, but it goes against your religion and that's making you feel very upset and confused um, but there's definitely a need to ground here your energy is completely chaotic breathe ground shield center you have to get it together here spiritually okay 
the general message today for Cancer is going to be the High Priestess, Cancer Piscean Energy, and the Seven of Swords. Cancer, you may be surrounded by energy vampires. Your intuition is telling you that something's not right here, okay? So this may be why your energy is so chaotic. So you may have energy vampires around you. Um, <coughs> you may have someone stealing your energy spiritually, or your intuition may be telling you that someone in the 3D world is uh, taking advantage, lying, doing something sneaky behind your back, okay? So there's definitely a need to protect your energy here and call your energy back to you. Light some incense, sage, palo santo, sit there and just reclaim your power, call your power back to you. And then obviously, if your intuition is telling you that something isn't right with somebody, you have to release that person from your life or confront them and fix it, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to my beautiful Scorpios at 5.45. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have here for Scorpio, please. Spirit in love, in career, spiritual messages, and daily messages, please. Spirit. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Page of Swords. Uh, Scorpio, you may possibly be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This person may be younger than you, or maybe they act a little immature. Um, Scorpio, I feel here that, you know, you're trying to work together with somebody here. You're trying to work as a team with somebody here. Um, if you've been having problems with this person, for instance, in, you know, your marriage or relationship, there may possibly be a third party that gets involved, um, whether that's a counselor, a friend, or a family member. Uh, but there's definitely a, a, an awareness that more teamwork needs to take place. Um, you guys need to build more of a solid foundation with each other, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and move on to... I'm sorry, just one more thing for love. Um, Scorpio, someone here may be claiming that somebody is just a friend, but I feel like the other person isn't trusting that. So they may be getting a little more information, maybe digging through someone's phone. You know what I'm saying? Looking at messages and stuff like that. Someone here may be claiming that someone's just a friend, but you might not be trusting it. Okay, moving on. <coughs> Let's move on to career here for Scorpio. We've got the devil. And we have the Ace of Cups. Ooh. So Scorpio, you really are, you're waiting for good news to come in. Um, it's something that you really, really want here. And I feel like it's going to come. This is something that maybe you've been pursuing for a long time here. And I feel like that Ace of Cups is definitely that message coming in. So if you've been pursuing something regarding money, finances, career, um, that persistence and that drive and that obsession that you've had towards Towards it is going to pay off okay let's go ahead and move towards uh, spiritual energy here so we've got the Queen of Pentacles and we've got the lovers card okay so spiritually Scorpio I feel like you guys are doing great you're very grounded you have a very strong connection with the divine here um, you know you you I, I feel like you guys are really working on balancing that chakra energy I don't know why something's selling telling me to really focus on the crown chakra because you're very grounded and you have a strong tie here to your angels and your guides and to the divine so you really want to take this time to listen to those inner messages okay um, let's see what general advice we have here today for Scorpio. So we've got the Knight of Cups and we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so Scorpio, your general advice here is to just be wary because you may have somebody here <coughs> that is coming towards you in a very friendly or maybe even romantic manner but with the five of swords energy here this person may be playing mind games or um you know wanting to hurt you in some way shape or form so just be wary of that okay definitely be wary of that all right so moving on here let's move on to pisces okay so now we're on Pisces, please, Spirit. Clarity, Guidance for Pisces, October 4th. In love, career, spiritual messages, and general advice for the day, please, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? Okay. 
So we have the two of wands here, Pisces, and we've got the four of wands, okay? So Pisces, um, either you and your person are both visioning a future, planning a wedding, planning to buy a home. There's definitely a lot of vision for the future here. So Pisces, if this isn't you, your person may be visualizing as you as their forever person. Um, I feel like you have a lot in common with this person. Definitely very strong divine uh, soul tie here, okay? Um, it could be a twin flame journey, but I'm not really feeling that because twin flame journeys tend to be very chaotic Pisces. And here we have a very um, strong uh, concept of in the future, I want this with this person. I want to get married. I want to buy a house. I want to have kids. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Um, and usually with a twin flame journey, you're literally trying to kill your person. <laughs> You know, this is not positive energy. Um, okay, so yeah, there's a lot of hope for the future, future there. Um, you know, the two of wands can also represent needing to make a decision. So someone here may be contemplating proposing, okay? All right, so let's move on to career and finance, Pisces. Ooh, six of swords and the ace of pentacles, Pisces. So guys, if you have not been doing well financially or if business has been bad, get ready or maybe if you've been without work get ready because with that ace of pentacles lord either you're receiving a large sum of money if you've been waiting for a loan if you've been waiting for a judgment in court um if you've been waiting to hear back from a job or whatever the case may be if you've been dealing with any form of financial hardship that is about to change big time okay pisces <coughs> Um, you might want to focus on the throat chakra too, a little bit Pisces, maybe, uh, you know, put something blue on your throat, try to meditate on that. Cause I'm getting a little choked up here. Um, okay. So let's focus on your spiritual messages, Pisces, three of cups and the eight of swords. Okay. So Pisces, I feel like you're very much in your head here spiritually. Okay. And when you're too much in your head, it doesn't allow the divine to get through to you. Okay, it's like loud noise, right? So you're not actually hearing your messages. You're worried about this person, that person, that situation, this situation. And the fact of the matter is, Pisces, that a lot of these things may not even be real or taking place. You're just making assumptions. You're in a head in your head about these things. Meanwhile, the divine is trying to bring you joy, happiness, seeing the situation for what it is. Something good may be happening in your life, and you know, you got a new car, but now now you're worried about the car payments and you're worried about what people are going to think or did you make the right decision or did you get the right color like stuff along the, that those lines here there may be very positive things happening in your life but you're kind of stuck on things that you shouldn't be stuck on and the more noise you have in your head the more the divine cannot reach you okay so that's something to keep in mind so let's see what general messages we have today here for pisces um we've got the two of swords and we've got the knight of pentacles Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy uh, Pisces I feel like there's been a lot of stagnation in your life here I feel like there's been a lot of blockages and things are going to start to move it may start slowly but overall, there's going to be progress, okay? There's going to be progress. Things may have stalled in your life to the point where you really had no idea what decisions to make anymore, you know? You, you really didn't even know which way to go anymore, but you're going to start to see progress here. Things are going to start to calm down and become more stable, okay? All right, so moving on to my beautiful Virgos. Okay. So that is for our water signs. Okay, so moving on to Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, tell me about Virgo, please, for October 4th, 2021, in love, career, spiritual messages, and general messages, please, Spirit. Tell me about Virgo. Okay, so we've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and we have the Ten of Cups. So Virgo in love, things are looking very, very, very well. Um, I'm seeing long-term stability here, a tremendous amount of love, uh, affection, joy. Um, I feel like your angels are definitely watching over this connection, okay? Now, what's interesting here, Virgo, is that 
the sky looks fairly dark here, which is interesting. So Virgo, I feel like maybe there was some hardships in this connection. And if that is the case, things are about to get better big time. Okay, let's focus here on uh, career and finance. Oh, we got the star and the tower, career and finance. Um, Aquarian energy, Aries, Scorpionic energy. Um, Virgo, you may be finding out today that there was a source of income that you perhaps, whether it's income, a job, something to do with obviously career or finance, there's something here that you thought was um, stable or that may be something that you had hoped to receive. And you're going to find out here that maybe that's not coming in. Okay. Um, maybe you thought you were going to have your job for a long time. You were happy there and out of nowhere you get fired or perhaps um you know you get you you know you get an eviction notice here um there's something here that you know you thought was stable that you had a lot of hope and faith in and i feel like that's going to come crashing down so just be careful here or it could also be an indication that you know there's some shocking news coming in that needs to be healed so you may get a letter that maybe you owe someone money or something along those lines and now you have to work to heal that type that situation okay um or maybe you, like you're you were hoping that something was going to happen like you'd be a you know uh, approved to go to a school or something and now those hopes kind of get dashed because some form of news comes in okay so let's see what we have here for your spiritual messages oh the divine is telling you it's going to be all right Okay, so your messages here, your spiritual messages with the Six of Wands is to keep your head up, okay? Keep the confidence up here, okay? Keep your head up. Um, there will be success in your life, you know? So you will overcome whatever challenges are coming towards you. <coughs> um, so let's see what your general messages is for today. Queen of Wands and the Hanged Man. Okay, so Virgo... This could be an indication of a couple of things, okay? So the Queen of Wands can be a bit fiery, popping off at the mouth here and there. You know what I'm saying? Um, very impulsive and spontaneous. So the first piece of advice that we would have here, Virgo, is think before you act, okay? Think before you act. Even though it sucks, don't make any quick decisions, okay? Don't make any quick decisions. Um, you know, for those of you who are in a relationship, general advice is... You know, be careful with third party energies. You know, you don't want to get into an argument with your person over a third party situation. So be careful with that. Okay. Um, okay. Moving on here. We are done with Virgo. So moving on to Taurus at 1730. All right, spirit. What messages do we have here for Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, clarity, guidance for Taurus in love, career, spiritual messages, and daily message. So we have the Six of Pentacles here, Taurus. And we have the Two of Cups. Okay, Taurus, in love, I feel like you're in a relationship where there's equal give and take. A very strong soulmate connection here. Um, sixes are soul ties. Two of Cups is a soul tie. I feel like, you know, as much as you love this person or like this person, it's reciprocated. Okay, so very beautiful. Um, uh, we have very good messages in love here. So let's see what we have in career and finance. Okay, so Taurus, you're starting to realize something here, um, and I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a burden, okay? Uh, you're going to start to realize that either you're really overwhelmed with work or your person's really overwhelmed with work. Uh, there's a sense of an awareness that maybe it's time to take a rest. The Sun card talks about healing, recovery. So, you know, if you've had a hard time in work or finances or you're stressing too much, it's it's time to take a rest okay um, that could be for you your partner maybe even both of you okay so let's see what we have here for your uh, spiritual messages we've got the nine of wands and we have the ace of wands okay so I feel here um, 
Taurus, I feel like you're really experiencing some blockages because there's a message that needs to come through that you just don't want to hear, okay? Um, this message may require change. It may require something new needing to take place. And I feel that, Taurus, maybe you don't want to go down that route because it would require certain things to change in your life, okay? But at the same time, with that Nine of Wands energy, I feel like you're very exhausted here here Taurus so I feel like maybe it would be a good idea to try to relax listen to those messages because your guides are not going to steer you wrong your angels are not going to steer you wrong and neither is um, you know the divine okay and if you're really tired you ever hear that term if you're too tired to stand kneel if you if you're really starting to feel emotionally physically and spiritually drained maybe it's time to let go and try a different route which would be allowing the divine into and surrendering to it okay um let's see what we have here for your daily messages oh okay knight of wands and the nine of cups so taurus i feel like today is going to be a really good day wish fulfillment is going to come to you and quickly so whatever you ask for today you'll get you know what i'm saying uh whatever you want you'll receive it so today's going to be a pretty happy day for you i'm feeling okay all right so moving on to capricorn at to 2040 okay any guidance and love messages for my beautiful capricorns love career finance spiritual messages and daily messages please for capricorn october 4th please <coughs> so we have the four of cups and we've got the magician virgo gemini energy so Capricorn in love, I feel like we may have a situation where someone is putting their all into manifesting, okay? And that may be leaving somebody feeling very lonely, rejected. They're not, you know, you have to balance love and work or love and doing other things. Um, there may be a need to balance these things out a little bit because someone here is feeling very lonely, like they're not getting the attention that they need, all right? I don't see an ending happening here but just be aware that someone may be feeling a little left out of your life okay so let's go ahead and move on here to career and finance so ooh, the world card and the wheel of fortune capricorn if you've been working really hard it's about to pay off big time okay money is definitely coming in business is going to take off you're going to get that promotion you're going to get that job that you want so it does suck kind of in a way that you know maybe you've been manifesting fully on your career or whatever and that loved ones might feel left out but at the same time it's paying off big time so it wasn't in vain okay let's see what we have here for your spiritual messages um I feel like your spiritual message is the your your guides, your angels, the divine is asking you to seek them out more. I feel like you're too busy here, Capricorn, and you're not taking the time to talk to your guides, to talk to your angels, to talk to the divine, to pray, to manifest. You're not taking that time out to seek them enough. And uh, I guess they miss you. You know, they want to they want to hear from you, okay? So moving on to your daily messages here, we've got the Judgment card and the Death card. Sagittarian energy, Scorpio, Aries energy. I feel like you're about to make a massive decision today, Capricorn. It, and with that World card here and the Death card... <coughs> You're going to make a decision, and I feel like it's going to be a very positive, positive decision. Something is coming to a full close, and a very positive um, uh, new beginning is coming in for you today, Capricorn. Okay? So, we're moving on to my beautiful fire signs at 2330. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for October 4th, 2021. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. In love, career, finance, spiritual messages, and daily advice here. Tell me about Leo, please. All right, so we've got the Four of Wands. 
end, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So, <coughs> Leo, I feel like in love, you have a happy and stable home life here, but there may be some issues because somebody here kind of wants to be independent. Like maybe somebody wants to go 50-50. They don't want to pay for the other person's stuff. They don't want to clean up after the other person. So the issue you may be having, Leo, is that, you know, even though things are stable, you may even be getting engaged to get married, it seems to be very divided where um you know you take care of you i'll take care of me and that's the way it's going to be so if you're okay with that then fine if you're not keep aware be aware that this is the type of mentality of the person that you're dealing with they're not looking to share they're not looking 80 20 no i clean up after myself you clean up after yourself i'll pay for me you pay for you you know what i'm saying so that it's very equal yet divided <coughs> Okay, so let's move on to career. Oh, career for Leo. Leo, you guys are on fire. Whoop in the competition, okay? So I feel here that Leo, if you're, you know, looking for a new job, you're going to get it. If you're trying to start a new career, oh my gosh, you are going to spike up. I mean, like it's, you're going to go from zero to 60 if you start a new career. Um, money, I feel, is coming towards you. I feel like you're pursuing the things that you want to pursue and that you're passionate about. So in terms of finance and career, definitely very positive. Tell me about Leo spiritually, six of pentacles and the nine of wands. Um, Leo, I feel like you may want to either tithe to your local church um, or maybe sacrifice a little something to nature possibly. Um, you know, I feel like you need to give a little bit more here. I feel like you're, maybe you're not wanting to, you know, in terms of finance, um, maybe you're being a little, I don't want to say stingy, but like if there's a homeless person on the corner, you'll say no, maybe. Um, and I feel like spirit is, is trying, I'm hearing the word sacrifice. So I'm not telling you to go sacrifice a goat or anything, Leo, but I feel like, you know, what you give out is what comes back to you. So if you want positive things to come to you, you need to be a little bit more giving, whether it's to the homeless, whether it's to children, whether maybe it's going into nature and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, just time time, energy, sacrificing, you know, uh, your time and your energy, taking a day off of work, not making any money whatsoever, but going, you know, going into nature, praying to God, you know, talking to your angels, grounding, um, you know, give something, give something, you know, if, if you want good to come towards you, you have to put out there a little bit. Okay. Um, daily advice, the tower and the two of cups. So Leo, this could be two things. Either there may be a huge fight in your relationship today or with a friend. Two of Cups is generally someone that you care about. So this could be a family member, a friend, a, you know, maybe even a coworker. There may be a little bit of a blowout here or you may find up some shocking news about this person. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, it's bad. You may find out that two of your friends got together or you may find out that two people are getting married or, you know, there is some, some shocking news coming in about someone that you care about. Now, this can also be an indication that you may get into an argument with your person today. So just be wary of both things, okay? So moving on to my beautiful Aries at 27.45. Okay. All right, so let's see what we have here today for Aries, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for October 4th, please. Love messages, career messages, spiritual messages, and by oh the wheel of fortune came out guys the wheel of fortune popped out for aries uh spiritual messages and daily messages please for aries please october 4th okay so we have the six of cups and the lover's card gemini energy very strong soul tie energy here aries aries i think you guys are thinking about a past person or a past person is thinking about you um there may be an indication here aries where someone here is thinking that they may have chosen wrong possibly um like there was a decision in the past that maybe someone here regrets. And I only say that because when I was shuffling, I saw the five of cups. Um, 
<coughs> so that is a possibility. Uh, but I feel like someone here is definitely in the past, Aries. Okay, so let's see what we have here for career and finance. The star card, Aquarian energy, and temperance. So Aries, in career and finance, Spirit is telling you to be patient. You're going to get what you want. So if you've been waiting for a sum of money, it's coming in. If you've been waiting for the job, it's coming. If you're waiting for, you know, you opened a new business and you're waiting for things to move along, it will happen. So I know, Aries, you are the least patient sign, but Spirit is telling you to have patience. They're going to deliver what it is that you want, okay? Um, your spiritual message here with the Six of Wands and the Knight of Cups here. I feel, Aries, that your spiritual message is that you need to release ego and show more love and kindness, okay? So, because don't forget, you know, what you give out is what comes back to you, okay? And you may be coming off as more egocentrical when I know Aries have huge hearts and a lot of love to give. So I feel like the divine, the divine is telling you, you know, to get the blessings that you want in life and to achieve success is to release ego and show more love, show more kindness, okay? Um, the daily message today for Aries the judgment card and the devil. Be careful, Aries, because there may be a decision that you have to make today. Um, so let me put it to you this way. Aries, if you had a drug problem in the past, you may be asked today if you want drugs. If you had a drinking problem in the past, it may a, an opportunity may present itself today of, hey, Aries, do you want to drink? Um, if you're running a little low on cash and you just happen to be driving by and you see those amazing pair of shoes or a really cool shirt, you may be uh, tempted to buy it today. There may be some form of... Uh, temptation today now the problem here is aries is that with that judgment card that would be a life-changing decision so just be wary that if you take that drink there's no coming back at least for a while um, if you do those drugs, there may not be any coming back, at least for a while. If you buy that big ticket item, you're not going to recuperate the money, at least for a while. So just be wary that whatever this decision is will be life altering. Okay. All right. So moving on to my beautiful Sagittarians. 31, 30. Okay. All right, so let's see what we have here for Sagittarius, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for October 4th, <coughs> please. Tell me about Sagittarius in love, career, finance, spiritual messages, and advice, please. Okay, love messages here. We've got the Seven of Wands. And the hanged man, Piscean energy. Sag, somebody may be trying to get through to you, and I feel like you're keeping them on red. Um, I feel like you're trying to be patient. You're trying to keep your, your temper in check. I feel like you just don't want to answer this person right now. So you may eventually want to answer them. You just don't want to answer them right now. Okay, um, or you may not want to deal with a problem or handle a problem right now. Okay, now moving on to career and finance here with the Justice card and the Hierophant. In career and finance, Sag, if there was something going through in the justice system, you're going to get the money that you owed. Like, for instance, if there was a, a settlement or a contract or whatever the case it may be, may be you're going to get the money that you owed. Um, you may be opening a business here through the justice system. Whatever it is with the Hierophant, it's a contract, okay? It's going to be long-term. Maybe you have something here that was due to you, that's been due to you for a while, okay? Um, so in career and finance, I do feel that you're going to get what you deserve. It may even be a promotion, okay, with that Hierophant energy. You may even get, you know, promoted for... Uh, you know, being wise or handling things the right way, being fair. So good things coming in, in career and finance. Tell me about Sag and spiritual messages. Ooh, this is spiritual ascension, Sag. Okay. So if you've been coming from a negative place, you're moving on to your higher power here. 
This is magnificent. You're learning how to manifest. You're learning how to control your emotions. Um, you know, the Empress is the embodiment of all four queens. And, you know, gender doesn't matter here, guys. But I feel like you're definitely going to find that you're handling things in a much more higher vibration, which is beautiful. Okay, Sag? So moving on to your general messages today, we've got the King of Wands and the Page of Swords. So, Sag, I feel like you have people watching you. You're looking good. You're feeling good. I feel like you're literally turning heads and you don't even know it. Okay. So keep up that high vibration. Keep up that good attitude and the confidence. It looks absolutely beautiful. Okay. So moving on to my beautiful air signs. 34. All right, so let's see what we have here for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Aquarius, October 4th, in love, career, finance, spiritual messages, and general advice, please, Spirit. Okay, so we've got the Hermit, Virgo, Energy, and we have the Six of Wands. So Aquarius, in love, I feel like you're going to pull back a little bit to figure out if this is what you really want. Do you think that this connection is successful? Do you think that if you put the work into this, it could actually work? Okay. So you may take a little bit of time today to really analyze the situation and figure out if this is really what you want. Okay. Moving into career and finance here. Be careful here, Aquarius. There is someone in your circle here that you need to protect yourself from, okay? Um, somebody here, you know, may ask you for money and not pay you back. Or somebody here may want to know um, your business so that they can go open up the same type of business. Uh, there's someone here that you cannot trust. You may own your own business and someone is stealing from you. Uh, be careful when signing contracts. Somebody here may be trying to get over on you. There's definitely a sense of needing to protect yourself today and I feel especially uh, the hard part is is that some this is somebody that you might trust this could be a friend a family member this is somebody that you care about that you're starting to realize that you need to really you know put a guard up here okay um, I just heard put cameras up you know so I don't know you know you take it as it resonates, okay? Spiritual messages here. Ooh, the Hierophant and the Emperor. The Hierophant and the Emperor. Um, Aquarius, be careful here that um, you are feeling a little too in control, okay? Remember that there is a higher power. Remember that there is a divine power. And even if you're doing well in life, um, you know, it, it's... There, there is a sense of being a little humble and understanding that you have those blessings because the divine has blessed you with them. Do you understand? So, you know, try not to be too boisterous or too egocentral thinking that, you know, um, I mean, it, it is important for you to say that, you know, listen, you've achieved a lot of what you achieved because you put the work in. Um, but, you know, it is important to always thank a higher power for what you have. Okay. All right. So let's see what the general message is today. The Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So Aquarius, I feel like you have a lot of choices today. You're trying to figure out what to do with work. You're trying what to figure out if you want to be in a relationship with somebody. You're trying to figure out maybe where you want to settle down or maybe there are some decisions that you need to make about your children or finances. So today's going to be a day of really contemplating and pondering on what needs to be done. Okay. With the Queen of uh, Pentacles in the upright, I feel very strongly that you will make the right decision. Okay. So moving on to Libra at 38 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what we have here for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Libra, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. October 4th for love, career, finance, spiritual messages, and daily messages. So we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, and the Ace of Cups, oh boy, Libra. 
Okay, so if you have met someone and you're dating this person and it's fairly new or you're about to meet someone new, this is the one. This is someone solid, loyal, grounded, stable. Um, this is definitely someone who is relationship material. This person may even do well financially, okay? So let's see what we have here for career and finance for Libra. Okay, Libra, be careful here. Follow your intuition because somebody I feel is not who they say that they are. Okay. Um, if you're hiring someone, make sure you check and double check. If you're lending someone money, make sure you check and double check. If you're getting hired for a job, make sure that you know how much you're getting paid and what the job actually consists of. If you're signing contracts, read it three times. Okay. Um, don't be too trusting when it comes down to career and finance today. Use your intuition, listen to your high, higher guidance, listen to your head, not your heart. Don't let yourself be swayed. Make logical decisions today, okay? And intelligent decisions. Uh, don't let yourself be convinced. You know, listen, I understand what you have to say, but let me just read the words here. You see what I'm saying? Um, okay, so moving on to your spiritual messages. Okay, so Libra, I feel here that that Four of Pentacles energy in a spiritual reading is not good because this means that you're inviting lack into your life. You're very focused on what you don't have and that's really what needs to end here, Libra, because that is blocking a lot of your blessings. I don't have money. I don't have a man. I don't have a girl. I don't have a car. I don't have an appointment. I don't have good credit. I don't have this. I don't have... Uh, you know, it, it's just like all this stuff, you know, I don't have time for vacation that, you know, don't focus on what you don't have. Okay. Don't focus on greed. Don't focus on being selfish. Don't focus on I, I, I that needs to end because you're basically telling the universe that you want to be broke, that you don't want a job, that you don't want this because all you keep putting out there is that you don't have something. Instead, you want to say things like, oh man, I can't wait till I get that phone call and I get that job or, oh man, I can't wait till I have the money. I'll be so thankful when I have the money to buy this. Do you understand? You want to put out into the universe that you're already thankful for having it and the universe will deliver it. Okay. All right. So moving on to general daily messages, four of cups and temperance. So Libra, I hate to say this, but I feel like you may uh, be nice to somebody today and they may hurt your feelings a little bit. Okay, be patient. Don't flip out on this person. What's that? How's that saying? But you never really know what someone's going through. So you know what I'm saying? Like you may ask someone a question and they ignore you because they're in their head or you may, um, you know, open the door for somebody and they don't say thank you or you may pick something up for somebody and they don't, they just take it and walk away. Like someone here is going to be rude and it's going to be like really unnecessary. But you know, hang on to your patience and have a higher understanding that we're all going through something and you know, maybe this person didn't mean it. It, okay all right so moving on to my beautiful Gemini's at 4145 okay so let's see what we have here for my beautiful Gemini's for October 4th love spiritual career finance and daily messages please hear it okay Ooh, ten of cups very nice Gemini and the seven of wands. Gemini, I feel like you're going to find yourself in a relationship with someone that will over, overcome any and all challenges with you, which is really awesome. So really long-term, positive, loving, affectionate type of connection, okay? So let's move on to career and finance. Ooh, okay. So Gemini, I definitely feel a lot of stability here. Um, you know, perhaps you are getting, a, there may be a lot of communications on, you know, building a house or starting a business. It's going to be something very long term and it's going to be something very stable coming your way. The Eight of Wands is very quick, very passionate, very exciting news is coming in. Um, you may be getting news that you got approved for a home or to rent the business or uh, a contract was signed. You know what I'm saying? It, it it's definitely very positive news here. So that's good stuff. So let's see what we have here for your spiritual messages here. So I feel that Gemini spiritually, you're manifesting here to move out of a neg negative place and move into something, uh, you know, more peaceful, having more peace in your life. And I feel like the divine is going to deliver that to you with that six of swords. 
there you go. Your general messages today, Gemini, is that there is going to be a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of joy, celebration, healing. Um, like I said, you may get a message of something really exciting that you got approved for a house or approved for something. Um, you may get uh, some really exciting news today. I feel like it's going to be a very beautiful day for you, Gemini. Okay. Oh, Ace of Pentacles under the deck. Maybe, you know, you're getting a loan of some sort. So, or money is coming in or something along a, a large chunk of money. Okay. All right, guys. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed and take care. Have a beautiful day.